The World Health Organization has declared the highly infectious disease MPOX, previously known as monkeypox, a public health emergency of international concern. Since the beginning of the year, MPOX has rapidly spread across Central and East Africa, with the Democratic Republic of Congo being the initial epicenter. The country has reported 15,600 cases and over 500 deaths so far. Health officials are concerned that this new strain of MPOX might be the deadliest one encountered to date. Firstly, we will talk about the symptoms of the MPOX virus. MPOX, also known as monkeypox, typically manifests symptoms within a week of exposure, though it can take anywhere from 1 to 21 days for signs to appear. These symptoms generally last between two to four weeks, but in individuals with weakened immune systems, they may persist longer. The disease presents with a range of symptoms, including a rash, fever, sore throat, headache, muscle aches, back pain, fatigue, and swollen lymph nodes. The rash associated with MPOX begins as a flat sore that evolves into a blister filled with liquid, which can be either itchy or painful. As the blister heals, it dries out, crusts over, and eventually falls off. The extent of the rash can vary significantly. It may involve just a few lesions or hundreds, and it can appear on several parts of the body, including the palms of the hands, the soles of the feet, the face, mouth, throat, groin, genital areas, and anus. Some individuals may also experience painful swelling of the rectum or discomfort and difficulty urinating. Individuals with MPOX are contagious and can transmit the disease to others until all sores have healed and a new layer of skin has formed. Children, pregnant individuals, and those with weakened immune systems face a higher risk of complications from MPOX, making early diagnosis and appropriate care crucial for these populations. For MPOX, the initial symptoms usually include fever, muscle aches, and a sore throat. Soon after, a characteristic rash develops, starting on the face and gradually spreading to other parts of the body, including the palms and soles of the feet. Over the course of two to four weeks, this rash undergoes several stages. It begins as flat spots called macules, progresses to raised bumps known as papules, then forms fluid-filled blisters termed vesicles, and finally pustules, which are pus-filled sores. These pustules often develop a central depression before scabbing over, eventually leaving the skin as the scabs fall off. Swollen lymph nodes are also a common symptom, but it's important to note that some individuals may remain asymptomatic. Additionally, the first lesions might appear in less typical locations, such as the groin, anus, or around the mouth, reflecting the evolving nature of the disease in different populations. People with MPOX can face severe health complications that significantly impact their overall well-being. One of the primary concerns is bacterial infection of the skin, which can lead to abscesses or extensive damage. Beyond skin issues, MPOX can result in serious respiratory problems like pneumonia. Eye infections are another risk, potentially causing vision loss if not treated promptly. The disease can also interfere with the digestive system, leading to trouble with swallowing, vomiting, and diarrhea, which may cause dehydration and malnutrition. In severe cases, MPOX may progress to sepsis, a life-threatening condition where the infection spreads throughout the bloodstream, triggering a systemic inflammatory response. Additionally, MPOX can cause inflammation in various organs and tissues, including the brain, encephalitis, heart, myocarditis, rectum, proctitis, genital organs, balanitis, and urinary passages, urethritis. These complications can be particularly dangerous and, in some cases, fatal. Individuals with weakened immune systems, such as those on immunosuppressive medications or those with medical conditions, like uncontrolled or untreated HIV, are at a heightened risk of experiencing severe illness and death from MPOX. Now we will talk about how does MPOX spread. MPOX is a contagious viral disease that can spread from one person to another through various forms of direct contact. The virus primarily spreads through contact with infectious skin lesions, which may appear anywhere on the body, including sensitive areas like the mouth and genitals. This type of contact can occur in several ways. Number one, 
Face-to-face -face interactions, M-pox, also known as monkeypox, is transmitted through close, face-to-face -face interactions where individuals are in close proximity to one another. This includes everyday activities such as talking, breathing, or coughing, during which the virus can be present in respiratory droplets. If someone is standing nearby and these droplets are inhaled, especially over a prolonged period, they may become infected. This mode of transmission highlights the risk of spreading the virus in environments where people congregate, such as households, workplaces, and social gatherings. In such settings, the close contact required for effective transmission underscores the importance of maintaining good hygiene practices and avoiding prolonged close contact with individuals who are symptomatic. Number two, skin-to-skin -skin contact. One of the most common ways MPOX spreads is through direct skin-to-skin -skin contact. The virus can be present on the skin surface and any contact with these infectious areas can lead to transmission. Number three, animal to human transmission. Mpox is also a zoonotic disease, meaning it can spread from animals to humans. This can occur through activities like hunting, skinning, or preparing meat from infected animals. The virus can enter the body through bites, scratches, or direct contact with the animal's blood, fluids, or lesions. Additionally, handling contaminated objects such as clothing, linens, or tools used in animal processing can also lead to infection. This is particularly a concern in settings like healthcare facilities or tattoo parlors where sharp objects might inadvertently become contaminated. If you're dealing with this condition, it's crucial to minimize the risk of spreading it and manage symptoms effectively. Firstly, try to stay at home and isolate yourself in your own room whenever possible. This helps prevent the transmission of the infection to others. Maintain excellent hygiene by washing your hands frequently with soap and water or using hand sanitizer, particularly before and after touching any sores. When interacting with others, wear a mask and cover any lesions until the rash has fully healed. Keep your skin dry and exposed when you're alone, but cover up in shared spaces to reduce the risk of contamination. Avoid touching shared items and frequently disinfect common areas to maintain a clean environment. For pain relief, consider taking over-the-counter medications such as paracetamol, acetaminophen, or ibuprofen, following the dosage instructions on the label. We hope this video has helped you understand the symptoms of Mpox and how it spreads. Remember, staying informed is key to protecting yourself and others. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell for more valuable content. Stay safe and take care.